you guys and girls, humans and non-humans, plants, whatever. It's your boy Jason, I'm here on Poggin, and I'm just looking at this awesome rainbow that I just saw. I wonder if I can flip the camera. I might just have to show you this way. Can you see that rainbow? Oh yeah, beautiful. Just striping across the sky. Magical Poggin rainbow. I'm taking a little hike today, all by myself. A lot of the other guys went out hiking the last few days, went all over the island, and I just sat at camp and enjoyed being lazy. But today, I'm going to get out and get some exercise, see some rainbows. Because, you know, that's what Poggin's all about. It's magic. Magic, baby. You want to see it. You want to come? Yeah, you know you do. If we find a pig, we're going to run the other way because pigs are mean. God, isn't that cool? Yeah. It look, looks like a smile. It's like an upside down smiley rainbow. How fucking cool is that? <sighs> I'm glad you all can be here to share it with me. I don't do a lot of live streaming or YouTubing or making of videos where I talk to cameras about stuff. But uh, it's kind of cool. I can get into it. How do you feel about it? Go ahead and smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Make sure you click the bell for all your notifications. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see what we find out here. Little lizards scatter like shadows in the flickering firelight. Big spider weaves her web wider. No one's going hungry tonight. Kingfishers sit in the banyan trees. The ocean laughs with the casual breeze. This is the lava flow where the volcano erupted. And all that black rock in front of us is jagged lava. Which apparently people hike on with gloves and knee pads and stuff, but I'm not quite feeling that today. So I think I'm going to take a left here. And Follow the lava flow, see where it goes. I've heard there's an old World War II bomber plane down this way, and it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I haven't seen it before, even though this is my second time on Poggin, so, or third time, actually. Um, so, I'm gonna go check it out, see if I can find a bomber. And, uh, God, the rainbow's still there, kicking it. Gotta love it. Oh yeah, and there's flies everywhere. It's Mount Poggin, active volcano. The caldera up at the top is still steaming. Sometimes you see little ploofs of smoke come out or steam. And uh, our buddy Vlad hiked up there yesterday, all the way to the top. Hiked up from the side through the trees, up to the ridge line, walked across the ridge, and down to the lake on the other side. Because you know he's Vlad and he does that kind of thing just for fun. But me, I'm just taking a nice walk around the jungle. Just having a good time on Poggin. Feeling the vibes. Which are excellent, I must say. Some of the best vibes on Poggin. Yep, I got a little shack there. For hanging out in the woods. Yeah, check it out. I seem to have found signs of life. Nice little shelter set up here, the water catcher. And uh, yeah, looks like they just have a little spot to kick it while they're hunting or hanging out. There's only two people living on Poggin right now, so I don't think either of them will mind if I come look around and check it all out and show you guys the situation. Which is basically awesome because uh, it's like Poggin, right? I mean, fucking cool. Look at that. What do you, I mean, yeah. It's great. So, we got some stove, water, you can cook and drink, eat, eat food, you're good. Catch pigs, coconuts. There's a lot of mangoes at a certain time of year, but right now is not that time. Not a lot of fruit or vegetables, to be honest, on, on Poggin. It's pretty much meat and fish and meat. 
and rice and spam. They like their rice and spam. But, uh, you know, you can't just eat gourmet wild pig and goat meat every day. I'm sure even that gets old, but it's pretty darn tasty. Oh, hey, what's up? So uh, I wanted to show you guys these cool flowers, and also you girls, and anyone that identifies differently than either of those, but uh, this is really cool. These are like these little purple flowers here, and they're, uh, they're edible. And when you eat them, they kind of taste kind of sweet, but also they have a flavor of mushrooms, which is weird for a flower, but it's in, unmistakable and pretty tasty. I learned that from one of the uh, Suruhana medicine per person uh, over on Guam, who taught us a lot about some cool plants. Yeah, it's super hot out here, but I got plenty of water. And as long as I don't fuck with the bees, they probably won't sting me. So, we're just kind of rolling. You know what's what? Still uh, a lot of lava over here. You can see this lava rock behind me. So, just gonna keep following it. They told me follow the lava line and you'll find the bomber. So, it's an adventure. And uh, we're doing it. If this gets on the internet, then uh, hello internet. And welcome to Poggin. In the jungle, it's time to be humble. Move slow and watch where you step. Mountain Mama gives the gift of mana. Drink deep and pay your respects. Your ancestors rest in the banyan trees. And they may let you join them if you say, Please, at home in the heart of the island. My mind and I find my way. way. I know I was brought here for a reason. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. Blue water, the sun's getting hotter. Sorry, it's a little jumpy, but checking out the mountainside. We found this cool bunker here. I'm gonna go look into that. What? I'm guessing there's a whole lot of nothing in there, but you just never know. And uh, sometimes you just gotta look and see. So let's see. There's another bunker over there. This one's got the roof blown off. There was a good amount of fighting here in World War II, but not as much as Saipan. Some bombing on the airfield basically just to take it out of commission and uh there wasn't a lot of like on the ground fighting um, but yeah and i don't think it was bombed nearly as bad as saipan which is nice we have a lot of different uh, biodiversity and different subregions here a lot of great ecology vlad was saying that when he was up on the mountain it was like a whole different planet and that uh it was amazing how you can just walk a couple miles on Poggin and go from a lush deep jungle to a wide open grassland to a big fat hillside and then a bunch of coconuts and then that's all ironwood forest up there. A lot of ironwood. A lot of cool stuff on Poggin. You could spend many weeks here I think, or at least I could and really not see it all. But uh, today I'm just kind of doing the simple wrap. See all the close stuff. But yeah, this is pretty cool, huh? Let's see what's going on here. Hard to tell, because it's dark. There's probably a pig in there, so I guess I shouldn't go up there. But, uh, yeah, we're good though. We're having some fun. And let's keep on moving. All right, this looks like a bomber over here. I think we found it. Let's go check it out. You can see this big giant hole in the ground where these trees are growing. That's a bomb pit from when they bombed this whole area in the war. This whole, we're right next to the airfield and so they basically just took out the whole airstrip and the whole place is covered with these big holes where the rainwater kind of fills it up and then you get plants growing and it's kind of like these
just these holes with little mini forests in them. It's kind of cool in a weird kind of sad way, but it is what it is, you know? Poggins got so much history. And uh, yeah, the more you learn, the more you can undiscover or uncover. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's a gun over there too, a cannon, nice. Let's go check this out. Yeah, that looks like an airplane. Or does it? Yeah, I think that is. I don't see any wings. Oh, there's the prop though, yep. Here we go, this whole thing is a wing. Haha, -ha. holy shit, look at that. Fucking cool. See all the bullet holes? This thing got shot the heck down. Big old spider nest. Let's get rid of that. Sorry, little spider. Gonna fuck you up. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, it's the fuselage. Oh man, look at that. You can't probably see it very well, but it's like all rusted out metal. And there's the other propeller. We'll go around the front side and check it out. Look at that. Just full of bullet holes. Look at that thing. 50 caliber. Big old holes. Yep. This thing was built to kick ass. And it probably did. Until it didn't. But it's still pretty kick ass. Let's see if we can get in here. I want to check this out. Oh, fuck out. Fucking boonie beats. Get out. Run away. Ah. Stung in the ass, fuck. Alright, don't fuck with the boonie bees. Should have learned from lessons. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that sucks. My ass is on fire because of boonie bees now. So I'm gonna go offline for a minute. Here's a cool thing big old death machine. So that's a giant cannon. Looks like it was an anti-aircraft sort of thing. Might have been the one that shot down the bomber for all I know. Although that looked like it took a lot of bullets. But yeah, pretty cool. Definitely not something you want to end up on the wrong side of. Although I don't think it's done much damage lately. But man, that's cool looking. Look at this. Rusted out mechanisms and clockworks. Fucking just rust into pieces. Yeah. Alright, well, mission accomplished. I think I'm gonna go find a shady spot and chill for a minute. It's got a, a message of, I suppose it's, well, you can take what you want from it, but all men die if you ever really live. I guess it's true. Probably true of other people as well. But it's good to be alive, you know? 
every day that I'm on Poggin, I'm thankful. And I'm, I'm really grateful, and I would say I feel blessed if I was a religious man, but as it is, I'll just say that I'm definitely one of the luckiest people I know, and uh, getting to be here for the third time, when a lot of people never get to come to Poggin. A lot of locals who've been in the Marianas their whole lives, born and raised, and still never been here, you know, they hear the stories. And uh, it's such a special pl place, and the people that are from this place are also very special and very um, generous. Every night we've been here, the local boys have been taking good care of us, feeding us pigs and lobster. We caught some lobster and fish the first night. That was good. And, uh, yeah, had some really good coconut crab last night and some stewed goat. Oh, the best goat I've ever had. <laughs> All right, found another funny looking thing. So, you know, let's check it out, see what's about. Looks like a giant concrete structure, probably Japanese. The Japanese were farming this island and uh, yeah, basically running, running things here for a long time and they built most of the infrastructure that's still here. Yeah, it looks like a water catchment. Yep, big old water tank. Probably some pig lives there and probably watching me right now. So I should probably be careful and not get killed by a pig. That's rule number one on Pog. Don't get killed by a pig. Maybe when my time has come and gone, the truth will be revealed. Maybe if I close my eyes and ask my guides, the scrolls will be unseen. That one's in good shape, with all the bullet holes notwithstanding. Looks like it's at least intact. Hello? Any piggies home? Just like to knock first. Oh, there's a bunch of these things all over the place. There's another one over there. There's two more over there. There's a little lizard. Little lizards scatter like shadows in the flickering firelight. Big spider weaves her web wider. I think this is like a local cherry tree. This has these little fruits on it sometimes. They're delicious, but not today. But yeah, see that hole, big old hole with the tree growing out of it? Thanks, bombs. Sometimes I guess they do good things, depending on if you're the tree or something else. But uh, yeah, here we are, getting back to base camp. This is a Zero fighter plane. This is an iconic emblem of Pog and everybody comes here, takes their picture in the cockpit. Which is partly why it's pretty mangled and not much left of it, but it's still pretty sweet full of bullet holes and jungle. Yeah. Somebody probably saw the last moments in life through that window. Look at the size of that engine too, that thing is huge. Props full of holes. Yeah. Baby life is just a random chance, circumstance, fractal dance of holograms, bending until the end of time. Maybe I should stop wondering why. Just enjoy the ride. Setting, what am I forgetting? It doesn't matter, it's a beautiful scene. Keep your eyes on the horizon. If you're lucky, see your flash of green. This island gives me all I need. The sun and the rain, the fruit and the sea. Oh, I'm home in the heart of the island. 
she knows my mind and I find my way. I find my way. I know I was brought here for a reason. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. I hope I can figure it out someday. Yeah. But if I never do, I guess that's okay.